Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I've honestly sat here and tried to shoot this video several times, so you guys that can just sit down in front of the camera and get it right the first time, my hat's off to you. Um, as you can see in the intro, we got two dang nasty sounding saws. I believe it'll be tickled to death with both of them. Um, 066 we have several videos on that if you're new to the channel you're welcome to go watch them but basically it's been ported as a pop-up in it um, i think it had been sitting for years and hadn't been ran or at least by the looks of the fuel lines on the carburetor she hadn't been ran in a long dang time but um saw's a beast now i believe he'll be happy with it um 026 we built one for his brother a while back that saw ran pretty dang strong. Um, one of the strongest 026s I've built, but I think a lot of that had to do with uh, the OEM top end that was on it, and you know, the saw it was already good and broken in. Um, but what we started with, uh, he'd send up basically a bunch of parts and a uh, set of bare crankcase halves and a crankcase. Um, we had to order some parts. Yes, they were aftermarket, but, you know, he was fine with that. Um, has an aftermarket top end from the Duke. Uh, looked really nice. Nick is still coated. Wasn't really the biggest fan of the port timing on it, but, you know, I'd done what I could with it and ended up the pretty strong running saw at the end of the day. Um, we went the Walbro WT-194 carb, uh, which is, in my opinion, the best carb for 024, 026. Um, 260 plastic and air filter set up. You do, I'm not going to get into detail, but you do have to do a little bit of modifying to use those. Unless you have a 260 carb and one of the later model tanks. Um, but on these older ones, you got to do a little bit of modification to make it work. But... Um, not that big of a deal. We may get into that in a later video when I do another build. Um, we opened our muffler up like we normally do on these. Give it a little bit of a time in advance. All the clutch is new. The clutch drum bearing clutch itself. I put a new 260 oiler in it that's fully adjustable. Um, yeah, just made a really good looking saw. Um, it pulls chain well. Um, I will say I did go back into it last night and pull the top end off and throw in a thinner gasket and actually decked a couple thousandths off of the base. Um, when I first put it together, squish was say around 27 thousandths and you know it ran good there but I pulled it back down and tightened it up just a little bit and I've actually got a video of before and after that and you can really see the difference in it. Um, it's just funny what a little bit of compression does for one um, some people say you don't need compression a lot of it but i'm just one of those people that are going to disagree with that the more static compression you have in the beginning the better that saw is going to run in the end all through the cut um, not just bottom end but it's through the whole rpm band you'll gain torque and power but not really wanting to get into port theory i'm bad about getting off topic but um Anyway, Morgan, I believe you'll be happy with these saws. You know, if you have any problems with them, just give me a call. You know, I don't think you will. The air is a little denser down south than it is here, so, you know, you might have to do some fine-tuning on the carbs, but they're set pretty rich right now, so I don't think you'll have to touch anything. I think they'll just run right out of the box. Um gonna get them fluids drained out of them get them wrapped up and boxed up and on their way home um i'm gonna throw up the little video clip i have of the port work and then um the video clips i have of doing the final test cuts on this 026 um it is a 3 8 full comp uh chisel bit chain on it uh, it's not a low pro which is the big 3 8 chain as you can see in the final cuts it's a pulling it pretty dang good um that said i'll throw those video clips up um as always you guys stay safe uh, thank you for watching and have a good one 
Hey guys, we are here on Simple Man's 026 from scratch. I just got the port work finished on it. I've honestly been working on it off and on for about three nights, just trying to get everything as perfect as I can. Um, the only thing I'll really say about this top end is that Squish is really good on it with a gasket, but the uh, intake and exhaust timing I wasn't really a fan of. I opened really early both of them, but you know, some people would love it, but I'm not a fan of real high exhaust roofs. That's just me. I like my torque in the cut, and there's, you know, there's more than one way to increase the RPM and power band of a saw, but got a real nice polish laid in there on that. Um, got poured opened up, widened pretty good. We didn't change the timing on it at all, left it where it was at. Um, it was a little further than I'd normally push an 026. Opened up our transfer pockets. Uh, changed our timing pretty drastically on the transfers. They were kind of way out in left field as well. Kind of changed the angle on those. It's up and back toward the intake as you can see. Uh, finish on it turned out really nice. Uh, had to lower the intake a lot, but I've actually done some further or worse, but again, really nice finish. Everything turned out really well. Um, you can see that that's a Nicosil coated cylinder from the Duke. It's got a pretty nice dang finish on it for aftermarket, and I don't think this was very expensive either. It's a 44.7 big bore top end. Um, and another positive note, I don't know that you'll be able to tell if I can get the camera in here on it. Um, she does have a dome, not a pop-up, but a dome. Some of you old hot rodders will be familiar with that and know what it is. But
if you'll like her. She's a little ripper.